I'm so sick and tired of being alone. My best friend got married last year and now I have to spend all this time by myself. Don't even ask about my dating life. Let's just say that my last date was the year after high school. Anyway, since then it's been Jenny and I and now it's Jenny and Larry. I don't understand why I'm so overlooked by guys. Maybe it's because I don't have the big chest and the curvy butt like most girls have. I don't think I'm ugly or anything. I just don't have the body these guys are into. There's a cute guy. See what I mean? He didn't even look at me. Here's another guy. Watch this. See, he doesn't even notice me. I feel like I'm Casper the Ghost or something. This is my best friend, Jenny, and her husband, Larry. Oh, well, it's been great. How's your manhunt going? Ugh, I mean, it's been okay. Ugh, I mean, I can't even get guys to look at me, though. Shannon, you're a pretty girl. It just takes time. You have to be patient. Ugh. All of us single girls just wish we were already happily married and had it all figured out like you two. <laughs> Marriage is good. It's challenging at times. So what? At least you have somebody to come home to and call your own. Girl, is this a Miss Potato Head? Yeah, sorry about the mess. Little Stacy keeps her toys everywhere. No, that's okay. I, I haven't seen one of these in forever. You know, this gives me an idea of how to get guys to like me. Oh no, Shannon. I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Plus, when you get one of these, you get tired of it sometimes. So what? You're tired of me? It's not like that. You know what I mean. No, I don't. You said it. Don't listen to her, Larry. She's just messing with you. Point is, sometimes you can't do things the ordinary way. And I have a plan, and it's gonna work. I don't think that it will, but we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, and then you can get tired of him, too. Larry, you know I love you. Sure. Patience? Yeah, right. I have a great idea, and this is gonna work. I know Jenny told me to be patient and wait for a guy to talk to me, but this is a great plan. I bet they'll turn their heads now. Mr. Wright, here I come. Look at this guy. He is so cute. Oh my gosh, he wants my number and wants to take me out. That's a first. But I can't do it. What if he finds out what I really look like? Sorry, Charlie. I want to give him my number, but I don't know. Mm. I, I just can't do it. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be.
damn, she got thick quick. You, um, different? Different's a word. <laughs> Shannon, I know you did not grow that overnight. Stand up. Uh, what? Oh my god, look at that ass. If I was a guy... I don't want a piece of that. Girl, stop playing. I am not having a good day today. I know you're not doing what I think you're doing. What? I am just trying out a new look. Is it working? Larry, don't encourage her. No, the funny thing is it is working, but... Honestly, though, I just really want a guy to like me for me. You're going to get yourself in big trouble if you keep this up. Well, I was just thinking that if I did this and if I could get a guy's number and we just talk and get to know each other outside of appearances, that maybe it could work out. Shannon, why don't you just do what I told you to? Good things come to those who wait. Patience. This time that you have single is a good thing. Take the time to learn about who you are. Well, maybe she's onto something. Give it a chance. Larry. You want someone to like her for who she is, not that big thing she's sitting on. Uh, okay, I'm leaving. You guys are full of jokes today. Well, uh, good luck. Uh, don't listen to him, darling. Now you know your ass is jiggling like Jelly Girl. Uh, okay, I am leaving. Bye, guys. Yesterday was such a disaster. I, I didn't even have the guts to give a guy my number. Jenny laughed at me, but I'm gonna prove her wrong. Today I have another shot at making this work. I just want somebody to talk to and we'll just see where it goes from there. Maybe he'll be the right one and after enough time goes by, he'll like me for me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, by the way, I see you walking by here all the time, and you look really pretty today. Oh my gosh, he says he noticed me. That is so sweet. Shannon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, do you like work around here or something? I do work around here. I'm actually one of the managers here. Oh. What do you do? I'm a CPA, uh, but actually my last client died, so I'm currently in transition and looking for another one. Oh my goodness. That is a job I could not do. It really can be, but I just love it too much. <laughs> Good. Are you, like, from around here? I am. And actually, I was just getting off the job, and if this isn't too awkward for me to ask, would you like to maybe get something to eat with me? Ooh, he asked me out. I, I said I wasn't going to fold this time, but it's just for a drink. It's not like we're going to hit it off right away. I don't move that fast. Yeah, let's go. Yes. <laughs> Yes? Okay. Okay. Let me get myself together. I, I, I can't believe this. Just calm down. So, what's a girl like you doing walking around by herself all the time? I mean, don't you have a boyfriend or something? <laughs> no, no boyfriend. I spend most of my time with my best friend Jenny, but as of recently, she actually got married not quite too long ago, and so... He takes up a lot of her time now, so I don't see her quite as much as I would like to, but it's okay. Uh, I get by. Uh, so I'm assuming for you there's no girlfriend since you're here every night having a Long Island iced tea and New York strip, Mr. New York man? Well, okay, well you caught me. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I haven't had much luck with women these days. And, I mean, I'm not the most perfect guy in the world, but I'm not the worst guy either. And. You know, I wouldn't consider myself to be the most incredible looking guy, but to be honest, I think people only look at each other for what's on the outside these days and not what's on the inside. 
And by the way, you look wonderful. Did you gain weight or something? I did gain a little bit of weight. So I definitely agree with you though, that people are way too focused on appearances. Like, it's honestly ridiculous. Right, appearances and everything. It's about what's on the inside. He is so sweet. It's like his every word touches me and I get so lost in our conversation. I haven't had this kind of a talk in a long time. I really like him a lot. As we drink the night away, I get so lost in his words and I'm forgetting about everything that was going on. This is all happening so fast. Jenny was right from the beginning. I should have just listened to her and waited patiently. How embarrassing to get exposed with a butt pad. I don't even know how I'm gonna tell Jenny about this one. She's probably gonna die laughing at me. <laughs> if I would have waited, I wouldn't be feeling like this. I cost myself the perfect opportunity to have someone to talk to and now I might be the laughing stock of the street. She just needs a beer. Larry, she doesn't drink. Maybe she should. I'd love a drink. I can't believe I did this. I feel like such an idiot. I, sh I should have just listened to you two. You were right. Well, cheer up. It can't be that bad. They say good things come to those who wait. There's nothing wrong with waiting for the right guy to come along. Is that him wanting to talk to you? No, it's just some unknown number. And even if I did have his number, I wouldn't want to talk to him after everything that happened. Hey Shannon, it's Danny. I was just checking on you to see if you're okay after last night. Um, I don't really know what happened, but I'm not mad at you. And I'd really like to see you again and talk things out if we can. You don't have to hide anything from me. I like you for who you are. Are you kidding me? You guys knew the entire time? <laughs> I hear you big time, girl. Hi. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm great. 
And I brought you some flowers. Oh my god, thank you. That's so sweet of you. Uh, Danny, I don't know what to say. I'm so embarrassed. Well, he called us last night and said that you mentioned us at dinner. And, uh, you know, he's a loser, you're a loser. You're welcome. <laughs> Larry plays around. Uh, Larry and I actually go way back. Um, but anyway, Shannon, I just want to say I've been watching you walking downtown recently, and I don't, I didn't know if there was a better way to say this, and I don't want to sound like a creep, but I really like you for who you are, and I hope we can get to know each other better. And last night, I don't know what happened. I guess I just had too many drinks or something. No. Danny, last night was entirely my fault. I wasn't being honest with you. And I certainly wasn't being honest with myself, and I'm really, really sorry. Yeah. It's okay, let's, uh, let's get over it, and let's all go out to eat. Yeah, that sounds great. Would you like to come? Sure. Well, <laughs> they got me on that one. I was really happy how things turned out, and especially after all the mishaps I had. I learned my lesson, and to all the ladies out there, don't be like me and become a Miss Potato Head to try and get the guys to like you. A guy should like you for who you are, and not what you look like. So ladies, be patient and secure about yourself. Love every part of yourself, no matter what. And one day, your Mr. Potato Head will come to sweep you off your feet.